Hello! Welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be printing the galaxy's last best known hope for peace, Babylon 5. See you guys inside. Hello and welcome to today's video. So we are printing Babylon 5, the actual station today. We're going for it today. So there is some very thin detail. We're going to do this with FDM, not resin. And we're going to make a pretty good sized model of the station. The model that I found online is fantastic. Very well detailed, very well cut up that almost any printer can do this, including Ender 3s. Easily can print this model in a really good size. Um, I love the model. I'm a fan of the show, even though it kind of came out right at the same time D Space Nine. They kind of copied each other for a little bit, then they went their separate ways. But that nor here, I ain't getting into that argument. So basically we're gonna slice it, we're gonna dice it, and then we're gonna get it over to the printer, make the model, take a look at the actual print, take a look at the final assembly. Um, I will warn you guys, I don't have it fully painted in this one. So it is something I'm working on. One. I have two of them printed. I've got one assembled. I'm, I'm working on the paint, just getting started, but we'll get to see an assembled final product, which is awesome. So if you're a fan of this show, a fan of science fiction, just love making good size models, stick around with us as we do that. And if you're new here and haven't, hit that subscribe button and join us as we print all kinds of cool sci-fi stuff and kind of work on different projects with it. Um, and if you're around on Tuesday nights at around 8.15 CST, we're always streaming, talking about 3D printing models, putting stuff together post hopping most of the time, but we're also slicing and getting stuff sent to printers. So hope to join you there. If you have any questions about 3D printing, leave that comment down below. Definitely ask a question. We'll try to help you out. So with that said, let's hop over to the computer. Let's find the file and let's get it sliced. See you guys over there. All right, guys. So here is the file that we are printing on Thingiverse and scouring. Thingiverse, Cults3D, Yegi.com, all those sites that I use to find files. This one is the best of getting a very good detailed Babylon 5. All credit to David Bogarts for creation of this file and getting it out here on Thingiverse for us to work with. This is one of the best broken down models to print this set out there in my personal opinion. So looking at this, thingiverse.com um, is one of the favorite places to be. Tons of comments, tons of great information on making on where the file came from. And uh, it's broken down really well. You can easily print this with a CR10, Ender 3. It, it allows you to print the model in very good ways and very easily. So definitely want to check out. This is the files that we are using today for Kira to slice and print. So we're gonna hop over to Kira next here and we're gonna get this thing sliced. And I'm gonna talk about some of the files in here real quick before we do. So let's hop over to the, to the Kira session. All right guys, so here are all the files in the folder you download. And remember, if you're going to hit download all, it doesn't work in Thingiverse, at least it doesn't for me. So up at the top, anything after the number, do slash zip, and it'll download all the files in one folder. So that'll allow you to get the info that you're looking for. So I dragged them all onto one build plate. This is a CR10 build plate. And looking at this, you can see there's a lot of pieces. There's some pieces you don't need. Now, if you're doing resin, resin you can shrink this one down and try to go for the full model in one piece but for what we're doing and how, what we're gonna make I'm not gonna use it this piece here is also a correction to the full-size model and you can see there's a scaling issue it is not the same size as everything else it is not how a scaling issue with how the file pulls in the cure it's an actual scaling issue to the full-size model so, in actuality, buy, because all the parts are, for it are already here. It's right here, right here, and right here. So these are your bits. These are 100% not blown up, and this station, when you print it, is a good about, I would say, 28 inches long once you assemble it. 
in 100% stance. I didn't blow mine up. I left it the way it was, and it is big enough for my shelf. So, really awesome model. Really love it. Um, going through some of the settings, I do layer height 0.15. Wall thickness is pretty much standard. Um, top surface layers, top layers, yada, yada, yada. Infill density, you don't need to go very high here. A lot of these are tubes and cylinders. These are pretty much filled in 100% anyway. So you don't need a lot of infill. You will notice you are gonna have some supporting, especially on this piece and of this piece. Now I printed them exactly as they lay on the bed. You can try to turn it upright, but that's a very thin piece contacting the bill plate. So I went ahead and just laid it flat and did the extra support. So I got good pieces. And that's specifically on this piece and this piece. These pieces printed really well. I didn't have a lot of problem printing them printing them so it came out really well and some support will build into this piece of the model that you'll have to pop out but all in all the worst piece for support was this was the reactor because it has to support this dais here but the way it's on there is the best way that I could get it so I could cover up um, the bottom layers um, any issues with that and connect it really well I did have problems with these big cylinders you see right here like this is not laying flat um, that is actually a problem with the model cut not not the actual piece um, honestly all I did with that was filler and if you guys want to catch the next stream this following Tuesday I plan on assembling the second print that you see um, on there live on stream so that's my goal because I use super glue I use the 3d printing pen a lot went into assembly on it so definitely catch me on that so all in all it's a good model real easy I used a raft especially with these thin pieces so they could have good strong support as they went up and there wasn't a lot of horrible cleanup so really this one builds really well so 10% infill is plenty fine I'm using inland PLA plus so 215 temperature and a 50 build plate is pretty much perfect because I'm using a glass build plate so um, supports well um, you definitely want to make sure you have retraction and your z-hop enabled uh, my retraction to cut down on stringy is at 6.5 right now um, I generate supports I use the normal supports for this one and I did 80% just so enough support will get underneath the items that really truly need it it built up just fine without additional uh, another model I was doing had uh, tree support and I built it all on a raft at 5 so that's about all there is to it you guys will slice the file and hopefully you'll have as good printing as I did with it because I'm very impressed with this model especially the way the solar cells came out as thin as they are and I did this all in one job I took the risk you can break it up and do each piece individually um, if you have an ender 3 you probably will have to and you may even need to take this backbone into mesh mixer and cut it in half to get it on an inner three plate or you may just need to do it diagonally across the plate actually here let's do that dee -de -de -de, let's cut down to an ender three and it fits just fine so not a problem so hope you guys enjoy this let's get to the time lapse show you the print show you the final product that's assembled and then let's wrap this one up I appreciate you guys. Remember to subscribe if you're new here and check us out on the streams if you want to see me put this one together.
All right, guys, that's the print. Pretty awesome print. Really nice detail, especially with an FDM print. There are a few little iffies, but you know what? Join us on the stream as I plan on putting this model together on stream and showing you how to fix those few issues with some tools that you can use, some putties and different things that will help you out and make this model look fantastic. So hope to see you guys on the streams. If you're new here again and you haven't, hit that sub button, join us. Make sure to give the video a like. So I appreciate it. And again, questions, comments down below or my email address is out there too that you can get and email me directly. Um, most of the time I'll answer, depending on the question. So. Definitely one of those things out there. Appreciate you guys, and I hope you have a great day, and we'll see you in the next video.